In addition to our uh, two cats, we also just got a dog. We've never had a dog before, so we decided to do some reading up. Uh, we got a book called 100 Ways to Walk Your Dog. Uh, it turned out to be a Chinese cookbook. <laughs> Look, we love the dog, all right? She's delicious. Uh, the best comics in the country are here to do their best stuff. If you've been searching for the meaning in your life, you just found it. This is Laughs. Hi, welcome to Laughs. I'm your host, Taylor Tomlinson. And let me tell you, we went to a ton of comedy clubs this week. And I think we found the best comics. Like, we nailed it, you guys. Let's see if you agree. I was visiting my grandmother, because uh, she had a huge birthday, she turned 86, and after 60 years, she decided she's gonna give up smoking cold turkey, which I think is amazing, you know, that she still thinks it matters. Um, <laughs> but it's fine, she agrees with me. Over Christmas, we were driving by this graveyard, and she was like, drop me off here, I can wait. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, not to you sign that will, bitch, you know? Thank you, woman clapping. Uh, no, I'm just super broke right now, which is why I'm online dating, you know? Because girls gotta eat. And uh, it's hard. It's rough. I wanted, like, you know, I tried to do match.com because I wanted, like, a committed man. So I realized I couldn't commit to three months payment, you know? That is so expensive. It's way too, it's out of my budget, you know? Uh, Cause you have to pay up, like three months up top, it's $27.99 a month plus tax. I just, do you know how degrading it is to have to choose between cable and a soulmate? Okay. Uh, so I'm on all the free ones, obviously. You meet some characters on there, you know? Uh, I went out with a guy who picked me up in his car, you know, that started with a breathalyzer, so. And my first ignorant thought is, oh my God, he's rich, <laughs> you know? Let's get it. And I don't like homophobia. I never liked it. I mean, I was never a fan, but now I'm really against it. I never like hearing it. I, I heard a homeless guy just the other day. I was walking by. You know how homeless people, sometimes they have a thought, and they're like, I'm going to yell this all day <laughs> on repeat. People need to hear this. I saw a homeless guy. He was doing that. He was just walking around. He, like a town crier of 2016, he kept going, there were no gays on the Mayflower. <laughs> Pretty weird, I thought. <laughs> he said it over and over, there were no gays on the Mayflower. And then he saw me and he pointed right at me. <laughs> Cause I think he thought he had found a gay in the wild he could blame this on. <laughs> Points right at me, goes, there were no gays on the Mayflower. And I was like, whoa, buddy, smarten up. It's 2016. Don't be an ignorant jerk. Who do you think came up with the name the Mayflower? <laughs> it's the gayest name for a boat I've ever heard, bro. And then we kissed for a really long time. It, was, it tasted like soup. It was really nice. <laughs> Really? My grandma's been telling me that I need to come back to church. You know, she'll leave me little hints and stuff. She'll say things like, hey, you need to come to church with me or else you're going to hell. Um, she's real subtle like that. <laughs> and I know I need to go back to church. You know, it's been a long time since I've been, but in my defense, I used to go all the time when I was a little kid. So I kind of feel like I should have some rollover minutes left from back then. <laughs> I don't know if Jesus sees it that way, but if it works for Sprint, it should work for heaven. That sounds like a good plan to me. But I think she was being a little extreme. I don't think I would actually go to hell. I think I've lived a pretty good life. I'm a righteous dude. I think the only thing that would keep me out of heaven is if I got judged based on what they find in my Google search history. <laughs> there's a lot of suspect sites in there. <laughs> it's gotten to the point now that no matter what I Google, it'll just say, did you mean Pornhub? <laughs> and I'll be like, yeah, I kind of did mean Pornhub. <laughs> I travel, sometimes I get to travel. I was in New York recently, and I landed at LaGuardia Airport, and I learned that LaGuardia closes every night. 
At midnight, the airport closes like the mall. I didn't know they could do that. The flight attendants were like, we gotta get this flight in the air. We gotta get there before it closes. It's like, get there before it closes? Are we landing at a Best Buy? What do you mean, get there before it closes? Apparently, LaGuardia Airport is just like a Taco Bell lobby when you're with your friends. You're like, I don't want to deal with the drive-thru. We're going in. We're just going to go in. You go to open the door, and it's locked. There's just that kid in there sweeping, just, no, we're closed. I'm sorry. And you're like, dude, we're here. Dude, come on. Apparently, it's that same kid on the runway at LaGuardia just yelling at planes like, no, no, not here. We are closed. We open up tomorrow at 5 a.m. Just keep, I don't know what to tell you. I don't mean to bring the mood down, but my family's going through some rough time right now. Um, my uncle actually just got braces. And uh, we're just so embarrassed by it. And let me tell you, there's nothing wrong with having braces as an adult, but my uncle has had the same dentist his whole life. What kind of terrible dentist has my uncle been going to? That guy shouldn't be allowed to be a dentist anymore. How did that conversation even go? Dad, I meant to tell you this 35 years ago, but uh, you need braces. I'm so sorry. Uh, the note was on my desk. I don't know how I... I'm really sorry about this. I got called out for slut shaming the other week. Me. I was downtown, uh, cause I live in Austin. I was downtown and I was smoking a cigarette at a friend of mine and we saw this girl come running by without no shirt on. And I was like, damn girl, if you got your out on a Tuesday, what you gonna do when Friday get here? To which my friend was like, oh my God, did you just slut shame that girl, LaShonda? And I'm like, I would never. What the hell is slut shaming? <laughs> and she explained to me that it was wrong that I had made fun of that girl's raw ass <laughs> like that. <laughs> and I should have been proud that she was confident enough in her body to share them with the rest of us. And in my head, I'm just going, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This one, I don't even be hanging out with white people like this on Tuesday. Always got to be some oh. Hold on, girl. Let me get this right. Are you saying to me that we can't talk about hoes no more? <laughs> Who said that? The Huffington Post. <laughs> that sound like some some hoes came up with. Mm -mm. My daughter is a senior in college, and two summers ago she came home because she was off at school up in Northern California. I live in LA. And she came home, she was like, Daddy, I want to do my last two years, or however much time I got left, I want to do it online. And I was like, cool, that saved me like $5,000 in housing fees, I'm winning. But I forgot, three years prior, my house been a bachelor pad. Now she at home all day, every day, all weekend, every weekend, spring break, you don't want to go nowhere, I will pay for it. <laughs> so I had to sit her down one day, I was like, look, I, you need to come up with a little system because uh, I'm trying to find you a stepmama, so. You're in college, you might have seen this before, but you happen to come home, you see a sock on the door. <laughs> Needs you to do a couple laps around the neighborhood because your daddy's entertaining company. <laughs> Sir, this was working perfectly till about three weeks ago. I came home, it was a sock on the door. <laughs> you understand, I kicked that front door in like the LAPD, like blah! <laughs> I was walking through the house like a game show host. I was like, maybe he's hiding behind door number one, blah! <laughs> Maybe he's quivering behind door number two. Blah. I kicked her door off the hinges. She was like, Daddy, what's wrong with you? I was like, where's the little boy got the sock on the door? She was like, Daddy, you put that sock on the door three days ago. I said, oh, Lord. <laughs> Almost gave myself a heart attack. And who gonna replace all these doors up in here? 
So now we just got beads all through the house. I'm peeking nobody in there, we good. Okay. I told you we had funny people. Now you see I wasn't lying. We have a healthy relationship here. More laughs coming up. Uh, growing up with a disability, my mom, she did not want me to participate in sports with the normal kids. She thought it would make me feel bad. Uh, I was in the Special Olympics once, though. You guys might have heard of that great organization. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, Mom. Losing to the normal kids would have felt really bad, but uh, <laughs> losing to somebody who didn't even know they were in a race. Now that feels... <laughs> That is the confidence boost I needed. Thank you, Mom. Welcome back to Laughs. I'm so glad you're here. Now we can show you all the funny stuff. Here it is. Uh, I'm a little, like, out of it today. I did the thing where you walk into the store and you totally forget what you went in there for. Like, I went into 7-Eleven and I was like, those wings look good, I want those wings. <laughs> and then I was like, if I'm gonna get wings, then like, mama wants a 40. <laughs> if I'm gonna get a 40, might as well make it two 40s, make it an 80. <laughs> if I'm gonna drink, I want cigarettes. And then I walked out and I was like, oh, I totally forgot the pregnancy test. <laughs> it's okay, we're out of the woods. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot lately about if I even want to have kids. Like, I come from a long line of moms. Uh, my mom was a mom. It's the family business, but I don't know. I ran away from home when I was younger, and I was just rereading that letter. I was like, dear mom and dad, by the time you are read this, I'm already left. I am runaway now. Found a legal loophole in the law that say it is legal for 24 year old to run away from home. So sweet. Kids say the darndest things. And I didn't go back for six months. By the way, if you're not sure how you're perceived, just listen to the questions people ask you, okay? Just listen, people will tell you what you look like, if you just listen. Like, I'm in hotels a lot, I travel for comedy. Never once has anyone been like, hey, do you know where the fitness center is? <laughs> Not one time. Not once. But I get asked where to eat, I would say three times a week, easily, three times a week. And you, sh you should ask a fat person, we know where to eat, but I get, I get defensive about that question. I was in Cincinnati a couple weeks back, Guy came up to me on the street and he goes, uh, hey, do you know where a good diner is? I was like, what, did you just find the nearest fat guy? The fat guy's gonna know where the diner is? Just ask the fat guy, he's gonna know, huh? And then I was like, yeah, no, of course I know where a good diner is, yeah. I know where like four good diners are. How much do you wanna spend? And then we talked about diners for a couple minutes. After which, he was like, boy, you sure know a lot about diners. How long have you lived in Cincinnati? And I was like, I got here three hours ago. When it comes to comedy, you've seen just the tip of the iceberg. The great comedy iceberg, not like a bad, dangerous iceberg from the North Atlantic. Stay away from those. Okay, laughs will be right back. Welcome back to Laughs. Here's some more perfectly crafted jokes to make your life less miserable. Well, that sounds sad. Here are some more jokes. Just, just funny words to make you feel good. I have a cat. People think cats are sissy pets. Mm-mm, no way. I think my cat's a macho pet. My cat kills things all the time. She kills it and then she eats it. Like she devours it head first. So it's horrible and adorable. It's like finding out that one of the Muppets beats his wife. You're like, this is not okay. This is, I mean, I'm gonna watch until he's done, but that's gross. I hate it. 
but it's really, I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> I do like my cat. This is, uh, my cat, did, like she jumped up into the window, so right before I hit the road, we were hanging out, and like she jumped up into the windowsill uh, in our living room, and she had a mouse in her mouth, right? And she drops the mouse, and like the mouse wasn't all the way dead, right? So she drops the mouse, and it runs right at me, right? And like, listen, I am not a particularly quick or agile man, right? <laughs> like, if there was a mouse coming, like, I would miss it. But this one mouse on one one, I just, I nail it. Right, like I, boom, just like that mouse just ceases to be. I'm a vegetarian, but that's my house. That's an intruder to hell with that mouse, right? Like, boom, mouse is gone, right? But for the first time in my cat's entire life, she looks at me and things make sense, right? My cat's just like, what? <laughs> no. I did not, no, no, I thought I was feeding you. I was, you have a skill set. I was, un now I get, that's why you're in charge of the door. Okay. I am in a relationship. Um, I met my boyfriend on OkCupid. Have you guys heard of that website? Yeah. Just a couple of people and a bunch of liars. Fine, great. Uh, for those of you who don't know, OkCupid okay is a dating website. It's a great place to meet people that you've already slept with and just kind of check in and see what's new. <laughs> those people. Um, if you're a heterosexual woman dating on that website, I'll give you a heads up, something you're gonna see a lot of, which is pictures of men with their shirts off in front of mountains and streams and rivers and valleys. And they're all holding dead fish. It's just the way men advertise themselves on the internet. It doesn't really do it for me. Uh, it doesn't make me personally titillated or excited, mostly because I'm not, you know, a bear. And I don't... <laughs> Why? My daughter asked me for a cell phone when she was 11. She's like, Dad, I want a cell phone for my birthday. It's like, all right. So I gave her my old one. She was like, Dad, this one doesn't work. I was like, I know. Yeah, neither do you. Yeah. Right? See, I, that's perfect. Like anybody, that's a funny joke because anybody under tw like 30 is like, ooh. And anybody over 40 is like, pfft, them. I know that's not making it on TV, but them. That's all I'm saying. What's your favorite part of the sandwich? The first bite, the middle, the last? I'm gonna say the last, probably because it serves my analogy well in telling you that the delicious last laugh is coming up soon. Somebody get me a sandwich. There are a lot of fights and tears that go over picking the last laugh each week. This next clip is the result of all that violence and hate. Here it is, the last laugh. If you are lucky enough to, uh, to get a job, good, good, good luck leaving it, because some companies make it very difficult to quit. I had a computer job for a few months, and I told my boss uh, I'm quitting. And he said, OK, I just need you to write a letter of resignation. And I was like, yeah, but the whole point of me quitting <laughs> is so I don't have to work anymore. <laughs> now I got to write a letter? I didn't have to write letters when I worked here. You know what? Just give me my job back. I would rather... I would rather work here and not write letters than not work here and write letters. He says, oh, actually, I just... I need information, you know, so I know when you're leaving. Friday. It's Friday. You can write that down if you want. But I'm going to just remember it. And he says, well, I just need to, you know, I need it in writing so I can make it official. You can consider it official when I stop showing up. <laughs> That's official. <laughs> then he says, also, we need to schedule an exit interview. <laughs> Seriously, now I got an interview to leave the job? <laughs> Gee, I hope I unget it. <laughs> can they just keep me there forever? 
Like, you know what? It came down to you and another guy, but we just felt like he was less qualified. <laughs> Plus, we really liked your letter. We thought it was great. So how soon can you continue? Okay, we did it. Another one down. You know, most people are probably going to say this is the greatest show we've ever done, and those people are going to be right. We'll see you next week. Here we are again, Trish. You're watching all my YouTube videos and you're not liking or subscribing. Hmm. I'm just gonna say it. Uh, you're a jerk, Trish. It is common decency to subscribe. I cannot believe we were ever frenemies.